Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles and welcome back to friends. When prepping for the Cannes Yachting Festival and looking for interesting and unique things to show you, we came across this debut. We are on board of an all aluminum hydrofoil supported catamaran, Vandal Explorer. Welcome aboard Vandal Explorer. She is 14 meters, which is about 46 feet. Come aboard. There's a shower, like right in front of me. Come on, focus. Well, I'm focusing. No, start from here. As you guys can see, this cat is driven by two 425 Yamaha XTOs outboards, which should probably be plenty of power. Massive engines. So it's a catamaran, engine sitting all the way outboard, which gives us this amazing swim platform and also boarding platform like you see here at the boat show right now. And the cool thing is we have these big fenders like the rubber rail here, which goes all the way around. Then a storage compartment right here for your stern anchor or any kind of mooring and docking equipment, a receptacle for swim ladder. Well, he already gave away the beautiful rain shower here. Yeah. There's our... You want to turn it on? No. <laughs> you want me to turn it on? No. No? Okay. Moving on. So everything is like oversized, overbuilt. It is a very utility oriented build. Definitely. So it's very rugged. It's very adventurous. It's fully aluminum, like you mentioned earlier. It was a purpose build. Uh, they built two, actually building a third one right now. It was one of those perfect storms when a person who has a lot of boating experience decide to build a boat for themselves. They would like to buy one and they can't find what they want, so they just decide to build one. All these different little things, you know that this person has owned boats for a long time, so knows what maintenance is all about. So they went super minimalistic, just very easy maintenance. You don't have to overthink about it. So they just, they that did was a great one job. Of the main, that was yeah. one of the main Purpose requirements, build. right? Yeah. To not have a boat which is overly complicated. So we have the swim ladder right here on the side deck right now. So you have an option to put it on the starboard side. You have an option to put it on the port and you have an option to put it at the stern. Same swim platform. So we have these, look, you wouldn't normally, you wouldn't see this on a regular monohull because the hole shape would not give you that much depth like we have here. So of course you have some batteries here, you have your battery chargers here, but you still have enormous amount of space to store whatever you want to store. So one of the owners said he has two electric mountain bikes he stores in there, but you can, I mean, there's so much space in there. You have it on both sides. So then underneath this one, go ahead. So there is a very large storage compartment underneath this and honestly I'm not even gonna attempt it because it's big and it's heavy but I am gonna show you the world's largest reversible backrest you guys the question I asked Rico is do you think I'll be able to actually lift it by myself we're gonna go in the middle I think or we gotta do it together from wait hold sides. on let me try oh, oh yeah super easy super easy actually Check it out. And of course you can flap it down so you actually have a more yeah. of a layout. This is giant. I like it. It's really cool. <laughs> it's really it's cool. very, very cool. I will right, we'll put the top nice. So the way it was before, you actually had a bench here, right? Correct, yes. And I believe below this cushion is a table. Yes, so there is a foldable table that we can put right here and some director's chairs that go around it. So easily seating for six people. Oh, but you wow. want me to so put it back? No, that's fine. Okay. All right. So that's your, you know, dinner, lunch. Yeah, that's spot. your dining space. Yeah, your dining spot. Yeah. Exactly. All right, let's keep going. Which side are we going to go on? This side? Whichever one you want. Yeah. Let's go forward that side and then back on the starboard. How is the forward? You went already. I didn't. Yeah, I did. Is it pretty yeah. comfy? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Go. Why are you saying there's like a, that? There's a handrail right you above you. Me. Just hold on to it. All right. Holding. Holding. And you can step on the rub rail. Oh, wow. So this, this portion right here, which is like pretty much a foot wide, yep. is a 
fender it's, what is it called it, it acts like a fender exactly like it's a rubber foam material it's glued to the boat so it doesn't go anywhere so if you bang into a pylon or if you well, bang well you can see it perfectly on, on yeah the, like if you if you show the it sister over there. ship there we go you can see it right there it's fairly substantial like permanently glued to the boat so yeah. i can step on it nothing is happening i'm so nervous when you're over there with the camera that's fine not for you but for the camera oh, okay. we, need the, we need the footage <laughs> So what do we got here? I don't know, but these things are really fun. So underway, once you're forward and you yeah. want to feel safe, right? On the yeah. It's a big open foredeck. It's so but cool. With incorporating these rails, it actually gives you a really safe space, even to stand up and hold on. If you want to watch some dolphins or you know anything going on, sea life, if you want to fish, for example, they are layout wise adjustable. These are aluminum built boats, so they can be adjusted to whatever you need or whatever your preferences are. Ah, so you can change it up. You can change it up. You can add rod holders. You can make this railing longer, like whatever it is. You can adjust it to your needs. It's actually really, really safe for fishing. Can we talk about that? This Why looks, is it so big? This looks a little bit like my Hummer. And I was thinking this looks like your Hummer right here. The LED bar. <laughs> oh, what your Hummer is going to look like. We will have the LED bar for sure. This is interesting. So we have the windlass here yes. and the chain. And then we have this aluminum welded piece with the rollers on, which looks very industrial. I mean, it looks like a work boat. It's right? so heavy duty. It's very heavy duty. And then you have that bar. I mean, if you have ever somebody in front of you who's too slow, I'm pretty sure you have a solution <laughs> right there. No. <laughs> so I kind of want to add these fender rails to the Hummer. Wouldn't that be amazing? Is it just bumper car just people? Like, boom, boom. Yeah, it's like move. <laughs> I thought you were going to say to our new build, I was going to say, hmm, that'd be no, kind of weird. No, maybe not. I don't think so, but it, it's so cool. I mean, it just gives it a commercial feel. What a fantastic charter platform, but let's show you the rest so you guys can actually appreciate it. Speaking of showing you everything, we could not pass up on the opportunity to go out on the sea trial and see in person what this hydrofoil supported beast can really do. So let's head over to Monaco. All right, we are aboard the Vandal, heading out. We get to do this in two parts. Uh, we met at the Kian Yachting Festival, but we do get to do a little sea trial at Monaco because why not? Everybody <laughs> else is here. Exactly, so I think this is gonna be a speedy ride, so I'm gonna take this hat off. We got a bit of a residual swell today and actually another 20 miles to the west of us is probably blowing about 30 knots, so the swells kind of rolling down and we got kind of excited because we said well isn't the whole point of the hydrofoil so i'd like to hope so now we're about to show you And that um, was into the wave, so downhill you're probably doing like 36 yeah. or 37. Speed is more well, we'll go back down that way a bit. 42? Wow. We came from Saint Tropez, Harry and I, on Tuesday, yeah. blowing 50, big seas. Oh, big seas. in a washing machine. Yeah. And it took uh, 50 miles, took us two hours, 20 minutes. What wow. the most amazing thing, it was like you had a fire hydrant on the outboards. I just can't understand. Oh, the rooster tail. No, just feel the water coming over from the sea, oh. big seas, and I can't understand how they can get the air in and separate the water and keep the engine and running. And just still, still I mean, keeps just going. Unbelievable. I mean, it just yeah. kept going. I mean, this is like our California weather, like Yeah, this waters. is like a Pacific swell. Yeah, yeah it's Pacific, it's got yeah. like this, a bit of a washing machine swell. And there's no flexing at all. This boat is rock solid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Didn't feel anything jumping over the waves. Some 
good as well. The big thing for me was that you tense up, anticipating this belly slap. Yeah, yeah, and it's nothing. It's, it's soft, just yeah. soft, and yeah. that is kind of like the biggest thing. Like and no hole. You don't really feel like. No. 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 You can't. Uh, you can't get out of the hole. Yeah. So quickly, it just goes. Another feature, which is very you know Pacific Northwest looking, are the negative windows. Yes. Which helps also to keep the boat cooler on the interior because you don't have the sun hitting the windows and heating up the interior. These boats were built for the med. Yes. That's really the purpose build was for the med to be able to do kind of the longer crossings in the med, which is about 200 or 230 nautical miles. Nautical miles. This boat can totally do that. Actually, the boat we are standing on right now has done a lot of miles this year. Yes. So it's proven that the concept works and it's a comfortable ride. It's also a fairly fast boat because of the construction style of the boat. It's an asymmetrical catamaran with a hydrofoil support. So this boat is more fuel efficient and faster than a conventional monohull. So that's pretty cool if you want to you know, make some longer distance crossings, you're going quickly and then once you're there you just slow down and enjoy the scenery. So we have two overhead hatches both pointing into the stateroom and one right here into the, pilot house. into the pilot house. You can actually see, check it out, how great of our airflow you're gonna have. Oh there. yeah. It is great. That's fantastic. Okay let's go back. This is just so commercial. Look at these. Before we keep going forward, let's check out the flybridge. Cool, let's do it. Okay, look at this staircase. I love the thickness of the piping. Yeah, it's just very it heavy feels duty. It's safe, it is solid, it's heavy duty. To prove the point, they, you know, opt out of the teak, they went for the sea deck just because it's low maintenance and it's just easy. Well, besides low maintenance, sense. it's also very, very nice very, for your feet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because you don't get the fatigue like you would get on a teak deck or on a solid non-skid. Yeah, all right, let's keep going up. So we have a weather door here, overhead to the flybridge. Let's start aft, aft and come back. I'm gonna let you show you this feature because you were just so amused and fascinated by it. So I'm not so, going to steal it from you like you steal all the features from me normally? All the way aft here, there are some solar panels on the hard top, kind of like over the oh, aft. Oh, I see. Which are now covered by the tender, but once the tender is in the water, they will be exposed and um, obviously supply the boat with a trickle charging option. So I saw the tender up here and I was like, okay, how does it... I don't how see do you it. get it down? How do you get it down? There's no crane. So it turns out this beautiful arch which holds your electronics also has another secret feature. So you can pull this down here and then swing this over and extend it out. This is your crane. Here's your line. You can see right here is the gap. Yeah. yeah. You'll actually swing it over. You attach your tender. You lift the tender up mechanically. This is your crane arm. Here's your line to lift the tender with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually there you can see it, how it's open. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You attach the tender, swing it over to the side and lower it down in the water. Say hi. <laughs> this is the man behind the Vandal Explorer. It's a brilliant, brilliant idea how to incorporate the crane, which is usually an eyesore, especially on a smaller boat. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then you have the tender in the water safely. It's manual, it's not electric. The philosophy of this boat brand was to have it easy, simple, and something which doesn't break. Okay, now it's my All turn. Right, now you're it's done? your turn. You're done. Okay. Your turn. You're, 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 done. you're, you're done. done. You're done. You're done. So we have a uh, large. Wow, this is really large. I think it was built for a tall person. Look at this. So if you flip this reversible backrest all the way here, this is a very, very nice layout. And I think if you come up with some good shade idea, this is a great napping spot. Oh, for sure. Like it's very customizable. You can still add some poles forward or some kind of fold up bimini structure mm -hmm. and attach it to the arch and you have your shade. Yeah, I think it's really easy to do because you've got the arch. It's super, super easy to oh, create for sure, one. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I love it. Okay, one thing we're gonna point out, actually, if you look over there yeah. at the sister ship, they're a bit different. So you can see how over there, that whole flybridge deck is just an open, empty canvas. You can do whatever you want. It was just built differently. They, mm -hmm. they weren't sure how exactly they're gonna use it, so they left it open so they can add on to it. And then it has like a low profile superstructure just two like low profile chairs so it's just different so you can 
configure this any way you want however you are using this boat you can figure this out and they will make it for you. And so, I don't know which one I like better, to be quite honest. They both have their positives and negatives. Definitely gives you some options. All right, what's at the helm? On this one, you will have a helm bench for two people, slightly higher seating position than on the sister ship. Mm -hmm. So we have the Raymarine chart plotter outfitted on this one, the Yamaha screen right next to it, a wireless charging station, and then the uh, Yamaha start and stop buttons, as well as your shift and throttle control and the joystick for the helm master and your wheel and a horn switch Ooh. and proper cup holders we're gonna head back downstairs and we're gonna check out the lower helm the galley and the helm yeah and also the stateroom and the head let's, let's do, do it. it it's a very very comfortable staircase the galley is pretty straightforward and simple first of all you have this awesome Awesome oh, contraption. It's, it's so cool. It's, it's like a mixture between like a tray and a countertop. I love it. I kind of want to have it. It makes so I much mean, sense. I NBBL. What do you think? I really like it. I mean, and it's aluminum as well. Yeah, but even if you've got cabinetry underneath that you need to get to, you could still have this, especially if On you're going to do some right? fishing. How cool is this? I totally agree. Hmm, really like it. Okay. Let's see where we can incorporate it. I'm going over here. We yep. got a two burner propane cooktop. Before you walk by, we've got a drink fridge right here. Mm -hmm. Again, you guys, this is totally built to order so you can reconfigure things and have a little bit of flexibility on what you put in here. You know, yeah. if you want two drink fridges, you could do that. So here we have some drawers, but hey, they're self-closing. Mm -hmm. Even though we've got this industrial commercial style, they're still self-closing. Love it. A little bit more storage here. Storage. Mm -hmm. Then we have a sink here mm -hmm. and kind of it, right? Some more storage over there for the yeah, trash can a little bit, Yeah, a little bit of storage here as well. This all looks like access. Yeah. All right. And then we have and two coolers. Another storage here as well. Oh yeah, that's right. Which I would probably add a cooler there too. Yeah, Michael. well you have two coolers right underneath there. Oh, and you just push them you out? Yeah, you just pull the bar out. Ah, I like Very it. simple actually, but mm -hmm. really effective to you know prevent from them sliding around. So if you pull the bar out, you just can pull the cooler out. I understand. But just one side even. Yeah, that's fine. exactly. You can see how that, oh, just like that. Yeah, yeah, you, can you slide just them pull out. the cooler out, yeah. Oh, I like it. This is all very clever. Okay, so on each side here, we do have slidable windows, yep. which is nice. You can open them up. And remember that large hatch that we have there. And then here you can see the hall number three which is a, a bit more fun. Very interesting color. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. still missing the big rub rail. I feel like it's very Miami. So here at the helm, first of all, I'm looking at a window there. I think it goes into the state room, state room for oh, some cross, additional cross cool. breeze. So lower helm, very similar to the upper helm, actually got the Yamaha start and stop control and ignition control, Raymarine chart plotter, the Yamaha screen here, wireless charging station, the zip wake right here, which are the interceptors at the stern to stabilize the boat, windshield wiper controls. Then we have our navigation lights here and some interior light switches and the horn switch as well as a Raymarine VHF radio, the joystick for the Yamaha helm master function and the shift and throttle controls of the Yamahas. And then we have the large helm bench here, which can also be just flipped up as a booster and then you can just use it as a lean post go a little higher like I'm standing on this little ledge here you sit on top you have a little bit better of a visibility like higher vantage point and with a phenomenal visibility actually so you get some little steps here to go up to open and close the overhead hatch and these ones are really cool they're just mounted on top of the companion way and again like some cup holders and little trays to put whatever you need to put there, binoculars or anything else to helm the boat. Oh, hello. Hi, I was just wondering, um, can you get a coffee in the morning? Sure. Without getting out of bed? That is the way to go. I think that's the purpose build, that's right? That's what it is for. Isn't what purpose build is all about? I am pretty sure. Yeah. I think if Carrie and Nate built this boat, they would make one of these. A hundred percent sure. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. Tag yeah. them. <laughs> that will be the hand through for Kara's coffee in the morning. Yeah, there you go. Right here. <laughs> All right. You're already down here, I'm so I'm going to come down. Maybe we should do the head first. I'm already here. You might as well come down. Yeah. So here we have the stateroom, water pressure switch, and your bilge pumps all over here. You have one hungry Victoria here. And then we have um, king size? Yes. 
All right, yeah, king size bed. Kind of like a sideboard storage to be able to just put stuff. And this is really interesting, uh, as Ben just explained to us. I think it's pretty brilliant. So this is just a demonstration, but they're actually thinking for the new model to expand it a little. These are storage bags and they're made out of recycled sales, yeah. which is not that unusual. A lot of people are doing it, which is awesome. But what's really cool is because, as you guys can tell, there is a lack of like a hanging locker or, you know, a storage space. There's not that much here. So they have this cool idea. Basically, you bring your stuff, you know, from home to go on the trip in this bag. You hang it up, you open it up, and it's your hanging closet. Mm -hmm. Put one right there, and they're going to put a couple more right here. So you can literally just oh, yeah. hang the bag yeah, up. Yeah. The entire space. You can you have, have as many as you want, or you can have as little as you want. So you can still have this space here. Which I think yeah. is pretty cool. They have a short trip, you just bring one bag and then you just put it all back in, take it home, wash it. You know, it's just very, very convenient. It's got the side pockets. I like it. I like it too. I think it's very innovative. You can make long ones here yeah. for anything you want to hang on a hanger. Yeah, it's definitely a cool, cool solution. The whole idea behind the build was to go as eco-friendly as this design allows. So the aluminum is recycled that they're using for the boat. Yeah, they didn't do any teak. They um, opt out of having the air conditioning. So because they put in one, two, three, four hatches in this stateroom in the med. Oh. I'm sorry, and five. And the little ones. Five. Yeah. In this stateroom in the med, now that this boat has done so many miles, it totally works. Especially at anchor. At yeah. anchor, you always have the breeze over the bow. So he said every time they have been using it at like three, four o'clock in the morning, it actually got you a need little a blanket. chilly if you put a light blanket over you. Yeah. So um, I think if you are going to use this boat in the Bahamas or in the Caribbean, then you might want an AC just to make sure you yeah. dry everything out. Even if you have the air conditioning, you only need to turn it on when you need it because the, mm -hmm. in general, the cross breeze is really, really nice. It is. I it's, can feel it right I mean, now. It's yeah. It's like 88 degrees right now in can. And it's totally doable it's inside here. It's completely nice in here yeah. without any air conditioning. Let's check out the head. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's a head. <laughs> Oh, fire. Texas? Oh, wow. Oh, look, can you see the hole? Oh, let me see. Oh, it's a little compartment, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's go up. And we go to the head side, which is on our starboard. starboard. Yeah, we didn't mention that the entrance was on port there. So here's the head. As you guys can see, there's a door here, and both of these have this slidable companion doors, which is nice because even if you can have privacy, you can still have the breeze here. Yeah. It's nice, you can leave them open. So yeah, here's our head, which is a wet head. Where is the... Right there. Oh, this thing, yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, we have a sink, we have a little bit of storage. The toilet, you have an option. You can have incinerator toilet, or you can have a, a regular toilet, but obviously having that other option allows you not to ever worry about your black tank, which is pretty nice. If you guys watch the winds, which we do, they have a biodegradable toilet on their boat. Yeah. So just another, eco feature that they went with which I think is pretty cool and this one is regular and the other boat the sister ship has the insinuated yeah toilet. well this concludes our tour what about the engine room I'm just uh, kidding. Uh, <laughs> well here are the specs Alrighty, you guys, this completes our tour of this Vandal Explorer, 46 footer, 14 meters. And let us know in the comments if you thought it was interesting and let us know if this would be the type of boat you would go for or you've been waiting for. If you are interested in some more exciting Explorer Yacht content, definitely check out our second channel. Naughty guys. Naughty guys. And check us out on the Patreon for some exclusive content. And Thank you so much for all your likes. And thank if you, you, thank you, thank you. If you made it this far in the video, then um, just hang in for another couple of seconds and enjoy the outtakes. Ciao. Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Guys. What? No. <laughs> Wrong channel. Oh yeah. Super ragged, not raggedy. Raggedy means yeah, not Yeah, super good. ragged. <laughs> yes. Not raggedy. Okay. And if somebody really annoys you on the boat, this is always an option. Always an option. I just need to learn how to use it. All right, let's oh, keep going. Oh, by the way, no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, well, well done. Nice landing. Yeah. Woo Drone yeah, retreat. But yeah, that was definitely wind waves coming from the north, uh, from the from the east. Smooth ride. West. Oh my god, I'm getting all the. Yeah. 
Oh, the red shoes mixed up, you know. <laughs> it looks like it's very it's stuffy in there. It's not. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it's very good now. Yeah. Tour of and the engines this. combined have uh, 850 horsepower. We did the specs already. I know, I just want to interrupt you. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Should we have lunch? I'm so hungry. <laughs>